uh, I wanted to do one of our great uh, watch segments, you know, where we talk about the latest and greatest in cinema entertainment. Yeah. So I just loaded up Marquee Cinemas over in Huntington over the Pullman Square Plaza. Okay. 16 screens of pleasure there. Oh, wow. And I was just going to well, run that, down. Hey, hey, just real quick, Justin. Yeah. 16 screens of pleasure? Doesn't sound great. No, well, it sounds like they're showing a lot of smut. Well, let's take a look because I thought this would be a good way of figuring out what to do a watch on. Okay. Because like, if you think about it, it's weird because there's there ain't movies. No, <laughs> you know what no. I mean? There's no movies, but they are opening up the theaters to show. I mean, there's no movies. Here's well, yeah, the great news. Movies, Here's movies great. gave us Scoob, and they're like, that's going to tide them over for a while. Yep. Um, first up, Trolls World Tour. Got it. That's, I mean, got it. Get got it. That was the last movie. We were in the last movie, which yep. seems huge. Bloodshot. Great. Love Vin. Invisible Man Wait. and Sonic the Hedgehog. Now, those, Hold those I know I've seen on my, on my house. Those have been at my house for a little Grip bit. Gripping tight. As well as Fantasy Island. Gripping tight to the edge, not letting go. So, this is what, then they're like, well, God, man, man, man we got a lot of screens. Dang, I wish we hadn't put up this many screens. Maybe Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets Whoa. is going to play three times. Thrice. Whoa. And once you finish that screening, you can go over and check out Jurassic Park. The Get original out. Jurassic Park. But Those dinos are back. <laughs> you thought they were extinct, but they're back. I uh, Listen, here's the thing. That is simultaneously ridiculous. But also, there's a part of me that's like, ooh, back on the big screen, huh? Well, do you feel that way about this? That you, you could, uh, you, maybe you'll go, Travis, and you'll have the time of your life, which is deliciously appropriate because we're going to head on over and check out Dirty Dancing at 5.30. Oh, wow. Yeah. Really make a day of it let and me, enjoy. Let me risk my health, life, and lung capacity to catch a big, big, big performance of Dirty Dancing. Sounds and, cool. And, and just to clarify, Justin, are they charging money for this? Yeah, just the regular prices. Griffin, you may oh. uh, risk your life and limb, but you will never say die. Because at, at eight twenty, we're gonna go over and see a screening of the Goonies. The Goonies. And let's make it a double feature of adventure with oh. Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark, showing six times today. You will have six opportunities to see Indiana Jones. And the Raiders of the Lost Ark. Now, Justin, I'm I'm now looking at the website too, and I see on one of the screens they're showing that black and white silent movie where the train came out the screen and everyone dove out of the way. You ain't that fucking far <laughs> off, Trav, because the last movie showing is The Wizard of Oz. Wow. Yeah, just um, if you've just been 80 years too late on this one, on this 1939 flick you can finally check out the lion and the scarecrow and all of their great adventures metal <laughs> you have man three chances to see wizard of oz i mean i guess we could do harry potter and the chamber of secrets watch it feels bad i wait i want there's going to be this is a national chain there is going to be someone who is like, well, I got the COVID. Dang it. I got the COVID. And someone's like, how did you get the COVID? And it's like, well, <laughs> I just wanted to enjoy all two hours and 41 minutes of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets yeah. on the big screen as it was intended. You know, I've, I've never gotten into Harry Potter before. Never yeah. been a fan. But now... Uh, it feels like the best time That's to do it. the perfect time. And you forced both your grandpas and grandmas <laughs> to go to it with you? Fuck you, it's got Kenneth Branagh. You don't yeah. know. They need this. I'm taking Remo and Pep Pap to see the Goonies. They didn't even start, they didn't even show Sorcerer's Stone? <laughs> they were like, oh, you know what? People are just going to start right here. We'll start him at two. The Try one with those. Kenneth fucking Branagh in it. Travis, there's a global pandemic. No one's going to sit through the first Harry Potter yeah, movie right. in a movie theater. You got to skip to two. 